There is a difference between being lonely and being alone. If you feel isolated in life, I'm going to teach you how you can turn that into an advantage that changes your life through something called Monk Mode. Hi, my name is Dennis. I help guys fulfill their potential by living a life of purpose. Chapter 1. Lonely. So even back in high school, I was never really social. I had social anxiety. I struggled to speak to other people. I had low confidence. So even back in high school, even in the most social environment, I kind of started feeling lonely. I couldn't speak to people. I remember I would, you know, because of my social anxiety, play games on my phone all day and sit at the back of the class and sleep all day and put my hood on and antisocial stuff like that. I would try not to go out at lunch and at breaks because it just gave me anxiety to get out of the classroom. So even back in high school, I was a bit different. I had social anxiety. Even back then, I couldn't relate to all the other kids. So even back then, I started feeling like a twinge of isolation. But then high school ended and I decided that I'm not gonna go to university over the course of long story short, one to two years, I decided Yo, I'm not gonna go to university, you know, I'm gonna do something else with my life. But when high school ended, you know, I started really getting isolated. Since I had poor social skills and I hadn't built up that many connections when I was in high school, I couldn't actually make any new friends. And since I wasn't in university, you know, I wasn't forced to make friends and I ended up pretty isolated. I would work a 9 to 5 job, then I would go home, eat, work out, shower, and then I'd watch some videos and go to sleep. And that was like my everyday life. I basically had no social life and I started really getting depressed. It was in that period when I first started feeling isolated from other people. And then I quit my 9 to 5 job and I ended up really isolated in that period. I quit so I can start a YouTube channel and really work on it. But instead I started feeling sorry for myself. Sure, I started the channel about a year and something ago, but I really actually struggled to upload any videos and I really struggled to work on them and so I didn't really get any results. More and more, I ended up gradually isolating, some friends ended up moving out, other friends, I just lost connection with them and I just almost ended up completely isolated. I didn't have any social life, I wasn't going out, I wasn't doing anything. I was just stuck in my room all day, feeling sorry for myself. I was supposed to work on YouTube, but in reality I was just binging YouTube. I was watching porn, I was playing games. I was fucking with my mental health. And the reason I did that is because I felt terrible that I was isolated. I had terrible mental health. I started getting really depressed. And that's how my days would pass. I would wake up feeling miserable. I was supposed to maybe work out or do YouTube, but... Maybe I do one of these things, maybe I do none of these things, but for sure I would fill my day with bad habits, procrastination, just feeling terrible and sorry for myself, feeling depressed. And I was at that point, I didn't want to wake up. Chapter 2 Alone. But eventually I paused. I paused and started thinking. You know, I saw my life was going in a bad direction. I saw I wasn't achieving my YouTube goals and my fitness goals and none of my goals really. My life was going nowhere, my time was running out, I was feeling worse and worse, more and more depressed, more and more isolated from people and so I paused and I decided to take a breather and start thinking. And I started contemplating, thinking about how could I change my life, what can I do? Am I going to change my life or am I going to take my life? I decided that if I continue living that I must do so and become successful in life. And that's when I started discovering purpose and things like that. But the important takeaway is that in my isolation, I realized I had an advantage. Because if you're smart, if you can use your energy properly, if you can use your time properly, isolation can be an absolute advantage. And this is the key takeaway of this video. I realized that I had more time, no worries, less distractions than everybody else and so I could use all those resources all that energy and turn it into something amazing I could turn my life around because I was isolated I realized that my 
isolation was an advantage above everybody else and that if I'm gonna be isolated anyway, let's do something with it. And that's when I started something called Monk Mode. Monk Mode is when you get rid of everything, which had already happened for me anyway, and you decide to just work on your goals every single day relentlessly. Monk mode is when you put in the whole day, just fucking smashing it, just working seven days a week. And initially, I wasn't really good at this. I was still doing bad habits. I wasn't, you know, the best at setting goals and working on them. But eventually, I really got into the flow state and started working and I started achieving my goals. I kept grinding on monk mode and over the course of six months, you know, I got in the best shape of my life because I started learning about proper sleep, proper nutrition, proper training on calisthenics. I just really got strong, got in the best shape of my life. I learned so much about the body and how to work out. And, and when you see my videos about working out, that's the period in which I learned. I really got in the best shape of my life. I really got ripped and I also found happiness. I became mentally healthy. For the first time in my life, I became happy and mentally healthy, which hadn't happened to me before. I realized that happiness is a skill. I realized that discipline and productivity and all these things, they were all in your head. They were all mental. And that's when I started really leveling up my mind. And when I talk about productivity, and when I talk about happiness in this channel, this is when I found that stuff. This is when I found how to upgrade the mind. So I really upgraded myself, become better intellectually, I became happier and got in the best mental shape of my life. And the third thing I did in those six months is I really started progressing on this YouTube channel. I really started posting videos every day because that was my biggest pain point that I wasn't actually progressing on what I promised myself to progress on. So I really started posting videos and I got like a thousand subscribers in one month. I also started learning about business, entrepreneurship, all those goals. And really, in six months, because of these goals that I set and started doing, I changed my life. My body and physique is way better. My mind, for the first time, I'm happy and productive. And I'm finally making progress on this YouTube channel the way I wanted to. So I turned my loneliness into monk mode, into being alone and actually being productive and achieving my goals in life. If you are smart, you can turn your life around completely in six months. Chapter three, monk mode. So how do you turn around your life just like I did? How do you turn isolation, the energy and the frustration and the depression you have from isolation into actual productivity and discipline that allows you to turn your life around? Well, the first thing is you need to set a goal. If your goal is to just improve, it's not gonna happen. It's not a specific enough goal. You need to set a specific goal for a certain time period. I recommend four to eight weeks. So set a goal in the next four to eight weeks. For example, you can set a goal to get you know, good grades in school. You can set a goal to blow up your body and reach a certain amount of kilograms on the weight scale and gain a certain amount of muscle or lift a certain weight on you know the bench press. Whatever your goal is, it needs to be specific and needs to be limited by time. And you know you've set the right goal if you feel that. If your goal feels difficult, if your goal feels uncomfortable to even set, then you've set the right goal because that's how growth happens. When you feel uncomfortable, when you have to go out of your comfort zone and achieve something, that's how you grow as a person. So if you want to do this right, if you want to really turn your isolation into progress in your life, then you need to set the right uncomfortable goal but at the same time the goal needs to be realistic and achievable and once you set this realistic but difficult specific time oriented goal you need to actually write your perfect schedule write down what you're gonna do every single day in order to achieve that goal keep the same schedule every day this is very important if you want to really do monk mode and change your life in these six months or whatever you're gonna have to write down a schedule and do it consistent. Consistency is the most important thing about achieving any goal. So, you know, open a notepad on your phone and write down your perfect schedule. Exactly hour by hour the exact tasks you're gonna do to achieve your current goal. Fill out your day with productivity. You'll be exercising, meditating, but the most important thing is to do 
the main work on your goal. So write your perfect productive schedule to achieve your goal. And this is one of the most important thing. If you have a goal and perfect schedule, you can actually achieve it. But if you don't write a schedule, if you just let yourself do whatever, or you don't have a specific goal, then you're not gonna go anywhere. You will not be making progress in life. So for Monk Mode, it's very important to have a specific goal with a time period and then have a schedule that allows you to achieve that goal. If you do that schedule, you should achieve the goal. And the schedule should be very difficult and very productive. And from there, once you set the goal and once you write the schedule, all you need to do is smash the schedule every single day. This is Monk Mode. Every single day, go to the workouts, start learning, studying, reading, start, you know, working hard on whatever project you have going on. And task by task, you will smash the schedule and day by day, you will start achieving your goals and you will turn your life around. If you're gonna be isolated anyway, why don't you do monk mode and achieve your goals in life and just feel 10 times better than you feel right now? That's what I would say to my younger self who was feeling sorry for himself because he was isolated. You can use this isolation to your advantage and achieve your goals. And it's gonna feel hard. You're gonna feel lonely again. You're gonna feel isolated. You're gonna feel lazy. You want to do bad habits. And you'll probably do some. But the most important thing is to just try to keep the same consistency every single day on monk mode and achieve your perfect schedule, perfect tasks, and just smash it, go after go, task after task, and go after go, you will change your life. And obviously, eventually, you're gonna have to get out of isolation. You can't keep this up forever. It's not good for your mental health, but this is how you turn your loneliness into being alone and actually smashing your goals, monk mode, all that shit. So I hope by the end of this video, I've given you hope, and now you have goals, you have a schedule, and you're gonna smash it and change your life in the next three to six months. If you found value in this video, then join the movement, become a purposeful man, subscribe for more of this type of content, and remember, if you don't achieve your purpose, nobody will. Be ruthless.